If you're serious about buying a thermal, don't buy anything until you've seen this. I'm Dave from Thomas Jacks and this is our one minute guide to help you get the thermal you actually need. It might even save you money. So step one, ask around. If you know a thermal user, get some pointers from someone you trust and see what they'd recommend. Step two, make a list of what's important for you and here's what needs to be on it. First, how far away do you typically need to identify a rabbit from a hare, a bitten from a badger or a stag from a doe? This will indicate the sensor size you need. More pixels means more clarity, even when zoomed in, which you'll want for bigger ranges and open countryside. But if it's only for the field you're in, say around 150 meters, entry level should be enough. Second, might you be out in rain, fog or high humidity? If so, you'll need greater sensitivity. That's a low NETD from a quality lens and bigger sensor pixels, also known as pixel pitch. This Pulsar Telos has a sub 18 millikelvin NETD, while this Axion is sub 50 millikelvin. Third, are you scanning wide areas or do you have a good idea where to look? For scanning efficiency, get a wider field of view. For more focus searching, a bigger native mag or a bigger sensor for the best of both worlds. Fourth, what else is important for you? Battery life, ability to film, weight, build quality. Prioritize your list of other features because you might not afford everything, which brings us to budget and what you can afford. Now, with your criteria set, it's on to step three, online research to create your shortlist. Visit manufacturers' websites, read reviews, and watch YouTube videos like this. And finally, step four, get hands on. Find an event nearby for your interest and try as much as you can. Ask questions to make sure you spend wisely and remember, you get what you pay for. And that's it. If you'd like to see more one minute guides from me, Dave at Thomas Jacks, click the I or subscribe.